Howdy homesteaders, welcome to my video on how to be self-sufficient and live off the land. I'm Jessie, the wild homesteader, and I'm so glad you're here. In just a second, I'm going to give you my top three tips for making money on your very own homestead. But first, I wanna to talk to you about what it means to truly be self-sufficient and live off the land. There are so many myths surrounding what it takes to be a homesteader these days, and the truth is modern day homesteading ain't what it used to be. But don't get me wrong, that's uh, actually a good thing. For example, people think you need to have a big spread of land to create security through homesteading, but that's not true. In fact, a lot of folks I work with don't own any land, and even the first couple of homesteads I built up did not belong to me. My family homesteaded for seven years before we actually were able to get our paws on a piece of our own earth. There are lots of workarounds for this, even if land isn't in the budget. Another popular misconception is about how to be self-sufficient and live on the land if the living after land is so difficult. Is it difficult or is it not really a difficult lifestyle at all? Sure, there's some dirt and some work involved, but it can actually be super simple, not to mention incredibly rewarding to put in a good day's work for the benefit of your family. There are so many awesome people willing to share their knowledge with you these days that there's no reason to worry about not being able to find the information and the wisdom that you need to be able to thrive on your very own homestead. Now, the third myth I want to talk about is that you need a ton of money to start. Not the case, my friend. You can be as thrifty as the OG homesteaders who first coined the term. Over my years in homesteading, I have gotten everything free from bees to chickens to sheep and seeds, seedlings, plant starts, trees, you name it. There are a ton of ways you can get things for free through bartering or on the cheap. With a little ingenuity and elbow grease, you can be growing and gathering your own food and living a healthier lifestyle with little to no investment. Speaking of keeping your hard earned dollars, how about earning money while you learn how to be a self-sufficient homesteader and live off the land? Here are my top three ways to earn while you learn on the homestead. My very favorite way is bees or vermiculture. What's vermiculture? Working with worms. No matter where you live, how big a small homestead you have, you can absolutely use this as a tool to make a little extra moolah. Honey, beeswax, worms, tea compost, they're all pure gold. And this is one that very few people know about. So you can actually make money in markets that may seem a little saturated, you know, as far as selling eggs or things like that. Nobody does this. So bees and worms, you're golden. Number two is growing and selling your own produce. You can literally do this in a small apartment size scale or in a larger way, but folks always want tasty homegrown veg, fruits, and herbs. Sell them as starts or on the cheap, or you can have um, the larger scale on the selling the produce of your labor. Mushrooms are fabulous, as are sprouts, if you have a small space to work with. Number three, this is also one I love, is compost. It is food scraps, manure, all the good stuff that you can compost down. It does not take much work. You can do it in any size space. And if you have any type of, type of creatures that poop or any leftover food, you can just go ahead and turn that into another pure gold income source for your uh, small homestead, which will help you to be more self-sufficient and to live off the land. Uh, my fourth tip, a little bonus, is I absolutely love, love, love gathering stuff from Mother Earth. Learning how to forage and get your own food and medicine from nature is going to be one of the best ways that you can save money and improve your pocketbook and the livelihood of your family. So there you have it. Some great information on how to be self-sufficient and live off the land. If you liked hanging out with me, please subscribe to my website uh, or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And in the next video, I'll be teaching you all about how to prepare for homesteading, even if you're currently a city slicker. So all my wilds love to you. Thanks for watching.